Jacket is crossing on the video for you. A dog, dog, jogger. He's doing it at six nine at the moment, which is quite quick. I will slow that down. A bit more relaxed shot. Just bring it forward a bit. Go to the manual board. You see he's running at six nine. I can slow that down to six seven. Just a bit more relaxed shot. Come forward a bit, Decker. Good boy, that's it. That's a six seven, which is quite fast. So that's nice, because that's just the workout speed, really. Decker boy, how you doing? Just turn that down a tad, take it down one again. Whoops, this is just off the back. We'll just take that down. 6-3. He's a bit more elevated now. At the back end, he's swinging. That's fine, that's probably about right for him. And he can do 15 minutes on here, quite happily. Of course, with this dog jogger, you can actually elevate it. There's a, a knob down there where you can elevate it. And uh, that's uphill work, but we're not ready yet because obviously we've got to get fitting. So he has two walks a day. This is great for shaping up muscle tone, relaxation. The further he goes on to the dog jogger, the more he'll become relaxed. It's a bit like a horse on a lunge line. Start tracking up with the cadence. And quite happy. Let's have a look at his face. Just stand up. You can see how Sheffield's going. I'll just pull him forward a bit. Take a poo, Good boy, that's it. And there we are. Decker on the treadmill. And he'll stay like this for about 15 minutes. And that's equivalent to about a 40 minute walk. So there's Decker on the treadmill, quite relaxed. He's becoming more relaxed now, as you can see. And I can speed that up if I want to. Or take that down. But he'll just trot on there for a while, and we'll do another dog in a minute.